Hello again, and uh, welcome back. <laughs> Last night was Sunday night. I was supposed to make my CQ. Uh, some of you may have been on the air listening on uh, 3850 or 3870 uh, trying to pick me up. And uh, you, you probably didn't do it. And uh, this is why. Well, today's the day. It's the 19th of December, and the time right now is almost 20 after 7 at night, uh, Central Time. And I'm, uh, in a very short time, I'll be doing my first CQ. Uh, we finally, finally got there. And uh, I'm expecting my Elmer, Glenn King, to be over here in about the next 10, 15 minutes or so. He, I asked him if he would be part of this first CQ. I mean, he's done a whole lot to help me. All kinds of questions he's answered. Uh, came over four times, tested my G5 RV antenna, and uh, helped me with my radio. Uh, he's always there for advice. And he, of course, graciously agreed to come over. And uh, he's, he's going to be the one who will take this pen right here and a piece of paper, and he will write down who he thinks my first CQ is. Not, not necessarily the loudest, but the first one. Our dog's barking right now. Oh, he might even be here. So about another 45 minutes, uh, we'll start. We'll I'll pick up this microphone and I'll do my first CQ. So let's go see if that's Glenn out there. Okay, we have Glenn. It, in fact, was Glenn that was out in front, and uh, we, he, he's already pumped me up and prepped me on everything as far as the uh, the tune-up goes again. He'll probably have to do that about 95 times before I finally get it, but I'll get it. And it turns out, unfortunately, it is now about five minutes to eight, and we have somebody on my frequency. Get off my frequency. Hey, let me see here. You think I'm putting out? Am I getting too much? You're all right. Okay. Try again. Now, this needle should tell me if I'm getting out too, right? Mm -hmm. Do I have this up high enough? Yeah. Well, I'm only getting a little bit here. How, does that matter? You go up more when you talk. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is KF5 GMC Kilo Foxtrot 5 Golf Mike Charlie. Over. I was just getting a little bit there. Well, we're gonna have a little problem here. We're not quite getting out. I don't know why. The wattage is uh well, it's just a little low, but the SWR is down there. Test. Now well, this is way up there, but this jumped up too. Any particular reason for that? Is that supposed to be that? It's it's not quite one to one as the yard. Well, what just happened when those two jumped up right there? Well, I went. That's, that's in the. It's in the 300 now. 300 position, so. I guess that's I where it is right, right there. there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're running about 80 watts. 75 to 80. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint everyone again. For some reason, this thing, I don't know, I don't know what's going on, but it just stopped oscillating at, a, at about, at about 38.70. It stopped oscillating. <laughs> you know, it had to be 38.70, you know, the frequency I chose <laughs> as, a, as a backup. Oh, man, 38.50 was being used. I went to 38.70. And that was it. And this is just one problem after another. But we'll get it. Believe me, we will get it. You know, I hate failure. Uh, it just it just drives me crazy. 
I, I had turned off the uh, transceiver, I went back to bed, and I said, no, uh, this is not going to work. I, I can't stand not having made some success after all this work. Uh, a lot of people have been following me. I, I just can't quit, you know? So I got back up, I went back out, and I turned back, uh, I turned the uh, transceiver back on. Fiddled with every knob I could find. I mean, I just twisted and turned. And I, it took me quite a while. But I managed to get the power level up and the SWR down. Here's how it went. Well, I managed to get 100 watts out of this thing with uh, a little bit less than 2 to 1 SWR. And I took a new 6AU6 tube uh, that I had and I put it in the VFO and it it completely stopped working so I said I don't believe this so I opened it back up took the 6AU6 out this one right here apparently is no good and I put the old one back in and guess what she's oscillating now and I'm able to pick up the tailgaters at 3916 so I'm fixing to check in with those babies I'm not going to mess with this any longer listen it, there they are couldn't get that when Glenn was here. I'm going to go ahead and check in on this and see what happens. This is KJ4, UHR. Anyone else out there wishing to get in on the tailgaters, Ned? Come on in. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to give it a try. KF5 GMC from Conway, Arkansas. KF5, GMC, Kilo Foxtrot 5, Golf Mike Charlie. This is John from Conway, Arkansas. Brand new ham, first transmission. Well, I made uh, four different tries with the tailgaters on the uh, 80 meter band 3916. They picked up uh, just a very small part of me. So I'm going to go ahead and try another uh, another contact. Uh, I couldn't do a thing with the tailgaters, uh, so the net that's on right now is the freewheelers. And I'm going to try a little call on them. Now, the, the, the tailgaters said they... They were, they were hearing me very, very weak. Oh, they could only pick up a couple letters of my call sign. Maybe I can do a little better with the, uh, with the freewheelers here. We'll see here in a second. Well, I checked in uh, with the freewheelers, and I'm waiting for my turn. Uh, apparently, I got through. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. This guy is talking to me. Talking to me. How about that? Cool stuff. Cool stuff. Okay. Success at last. Success at last. But that does not count as a CQ. That is not a CQ. I just checked into a, uh, an existing net. Uh, called the uh, freewheelers. Uh, I'll try in a few days to check into the tailgaters as well. But I'm going to set up another date and another time. I'm going to work on transceiver a little bit more and uh, get a little bit better uh, with uh, working the knobs on the, on the antenna tuner, stuff like that. And I'll schedule another CQ. And we'll find out who that CQ, that first CQ, is still going to be. Until then, this is John.